<laughs> I'm, I'm curious your take on the, uh, so Trump won, Trump yep. won big. Um, you may be uh, the president-elect's most faithful uh, uh, supporter. So what do you make of, of, his, of his big win? Well, it all started two years ago and he decided to run. And I talked to him and I was the first senator to come out and support him. Most of the other people didn't say, wait, well, you know, he's not gonna win. He can't do it. So nobody really got on his side until- Why another. did you believe in him? Because I'd known him, I played golf with him and I knew that he was going to give it all he had. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of these politicians, you know, they'll, you know, they think they know work ethic. I mean, this guy never sleeps. Uh, he used to call me at two or three in the morning. Coach, what are you doing? I said, I'm sleeping, you know? And he, he goes to bed about four in the morning, sleeps two or three hours, gets up and goes. I mean, I've never seen anybody. The work ethic he has, and he was going to sell his plan all over the country, and he did that. Uh, now, whether he was going to run or not, uh, would, or win or not, was depending on a lot Democrats, uh, you know, I think people had enough of the men and women's sports, uh, you know, the border being wide open. You know, you can take two or three things and destroy any kind of game plan. Well, they did. I mean, they had no chance to win with the border open and inflation and not doing anything about it. We were just kind of in a, they, they were in a kind of rut. They couldn't find their way out of it. And then President Trump went in and said, hey, I'm going to solve the border. I'm going to solve the crime. I'm going to solve the drug problem. And we're going to get back to business as usual and give people uh, their country back. And so it worked. Now he's got to do it. Now yeah. the, it's, 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 uh, he knows that. He's putting together a, a young team. I don't know if you've seen all these people that he's putting in his cabinet. There's very few of them over 40 years old. And uh, it's going to have to be that way because they're going to have to keep up with the old man. Speaking of his cabinet, some of them are really raising, uh, uh, getting some pushback, even from some of your colleagues. Uh, oh, yeah. uh, Matt Gates and uh, RFK Jr. And, and some others. It, it, you have been pretty strong in your support that you need to get behind the president, uh, the president elect, and, and who he wants in his cabinet. Do, do you do you agree at all that it is the role of the Senate to make sure those that a president, president elect, puts before the people yeah. that the Senate has a role in that confirmation and it's important. And, and President Trump knows that. I mean, they got to be confirmed. That's what we do. We don't do a lot of laws. We do a few, but most things we do in the Senate is con confirm judges and and confirmation for the. Uh, for the president. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I go in at Auburn, I want to take my team with me because I know what I want to do and I got to have people behind me that knows what they're going to do and I'm not going to bring anybody that can't do it. And so he vetted all these people in there for two years. It's not like that he hadn't been just, just went out there and said this is the ones I want. Most of them he's known who he's going to take. Uh, same in any business. And so uh, the, Trump wins with a mandate from the American people, get it done. And it's it, all eyes are on him. So he's going to bring in the best and the brightest. You know, look at Elon Musk and RFK Jr. And, and but what about Matt, Matt Gates though? Matt Gates is a, I've known Matt for a long time. Matt, Some of the charges against him are, they're troubling, they're, they're disturbing. They are disturbing. Yeah. And here's what I told him. I just, I talked to him every other day. And uh, I, told, I talked to him right after he got, uh, got picked. I said, what the heck? I mean, it, it even caught me surprised. Right. I said, Matt, you want to do this? He says, I want to do it, coach. I said, all right, are you guilty or not? He says, I am not guilty in all this. I said, good, because I'm not going to vote for you if it comes out that they can prove something. And that's what we do. And that's what all senators are going to look at. They're going to look at the evidence. I think they're having a hearing tomorrow maybe in the House on the Ethics Committee and what they have and, or don't have. So mm -hmm. it'll all it'll all go down to that. And if he's got anything following him, that has any truth to it, he won't get confirmed. You went public, you said you've said it several times, but you went more on the record. You were quoted as saying, you're definitely running again. Um, it, it, it looks as though the job of what you do is a challenging job, uh, <laughs> uh, especially early on. Uh, you, you, were, you were in the press for probably some, some reasons you did not enjoy. What about this job uh, ma makes you, makes you want to give it another go and, and well, go another term? It's public service. I, I was never in the military. I barely missed Vietnam. My whole family was career military. My dad died on active duty at age 53. Uh, he was a war hero at age 17, landed at Normandy. Uh, uh, I believe in this country, and I want my kids and grandkids to have the same country that you and I have had to grow up in. Uh, we had great opportunity. Great op There's no other country like ours. Europe is about gone. Immigration is about got them. I mean, they are having so many problems financially. Uh, socially, all those things are going 
uh, we were headed down that same path uh, with the open borders, and we, we can't allow that to happen. We, we need to take care of the American people, then we can help other people. I, I ran to help people of Alabama, and uh, I think we've done a pretty good job of doing things in the military and bringing things in. Space Command, I think, is going to be pretty, pretty. I'm not going to say 100%, right. but that's going to mean thousands of jobs to the huge. state. And so, uh, you know, I want to help. I want to continue to help. Is it fun? No, not really. Uh, but I don't have to live up there seven days a week either. You know, mm -hmm. I go on Mondays and come home on Thursday or Fridays and, and sleep in my own bed in Auburn. And uh, uh, I go around and do things like this. Uh, go speaking to the quarterback club and, and t today, uh, talking about some fun things, talk about, you know, like we've talked about Iron Bowl. But it is, uh, it's fulfilling, but again, we played defense for the last four years. No, when you're not in the majority, you have no offense at all. You're just basically saying, listen, we do everything we can to, to keep things from going across the, the board that are not good for American people or people of Alabama. So, uh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a young 70 years old. I never thought I'd live to 70, but I made it. Right. <laughs> but, but, so now I hope I'm making another 10 years, but I'm looking forward to continuing helping people of Alabama. Senator, good to Thank see you. you. Thank you. Thanks Thank so you very much. much. Senator Tommy Tupperville, um, about to head back to D.C. to get, uh, get to work.